Hey, what's up there, buddy? Um, what up here? I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I've been. Fuck. Fucking shit. I'm gonna die. This is gonna kill me. Oh, I'm fucked. Yep, I knew, I knew I was fucked. Great. Lovely! <sighs> I don't know why there's a bunch of fucking noise upstairs, but it's very annoying. I don't know what its issue is. It's slow ass loading. Yes, Max, I see you. Hi. It's very frustrating. Very, very, very frustrating. <sighs> These loading screens were a little bit faster, that'd be nice. Come on, load! Load. Thank you, Jesus Christ. There you go. Take it, take it. Fuck. Come on. There you go. Take it, take it. There you go. Shut. Don't tell me what to do. Fuck off. Show yourself. I want to talk. Mm, magic. The place of power. this way that's nice Oh, she almost died. There we go. Come on. Why have you got my skin is blood? Oh, jeez. Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? Ew. You claim to be in prison. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I have wandered endlessly. A love and the I'm sorry. Why do 
you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? Yeah. The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. Oh. There are no rules to art ceremony. They shall all die. Let them be saved. Spirit. Too many claim you're evil. Your words alone, not enough. Dead are And against you will rise all the powers of nature. I won't. Completed multiple quests at once. Well, let's go. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Ooh, sweet. And. No, no, no thingy? Okay. Oh. Can't be in two places at once, can I? Well then. Solved your problem. Just in case, though. Avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How do Interesting. you dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost. Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it, you know what they want? I oh, do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Hmm. What the fuck? There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. And it's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving, and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Vela. The land is no man's. Hmm. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. I wonder what happened if I would have if I would have went along with the tree said. Hmm. 
use your weapon, young man. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. What the fuck? Again. We shall forgive you this transgression for your done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white haired friend. Yeah. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Birch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. Oh. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Okay. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white haired one. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. Hmm. Huh. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. Okay. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Okay, just... Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Jesus. We knew someone's special to life. We let beast and players saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness. A mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. Uh. She fell into our hands. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. Okay. Mm-mm. 
Jesus Christ. Hear music, but I don't see anything. Oh. You tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood is a taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. I'm gonna kill them. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander mist fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, and this moon, handsome knight. Ugh, what the fuck? Very, 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 very annoyed. Okay, time to move along. Come on, go faster. Huh. 
Oh, damn. Okay. Actually, let's go back to the center of that town. Traveling to save me a hell of a time, a hell of a lot of time. All right, let's go talk to the Baron. Move, bitch! Get out of the way. Come on. Still staying in there. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Why would you not sight so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. Oh, true. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened to you? Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you, hmm. witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Hmm. Annie. It was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon hmm. after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. The warlord had risen against King Ethan, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Oh boy. 
All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. <laughs> Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay, I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob licker and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. <laughs> I went to find the bugger to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Oh, then. No, the understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Mysteria threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love. But I destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned oh, to difference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria, and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Hmm. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Hmm. Very well then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Cool. Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Yeah. Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then Ew. they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Jesus. Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter. Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a oh. husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. Jesus. I'll gather my men, go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. 
your turn to do yours. Jesus. Word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Hmm. I don't see anything yet. Survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the forces. You'll survive. <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth. Okay. Well then, <laughs> that was damn impressive. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me? So I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. 
Why? The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Hmm. Well then, all right. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Fine. Mm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Say he's a beast, but he seems a man to me, just as hideous as Arnold's shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won it in a game of cards. Well then. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest. Indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and saw the folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed their horses blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. It's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, hmm. but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. <laughs> well then. More coin and XP. Let's go. Sweet. Well, in the video here, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace out, guys. Have an amazing day.